afternoon, you're watching Audio Tree Live. Today is Saturday, April 22nd, 2017, and we're honored to have with us in the studio, Ainako.
You're watching Audio Tree Live with Ainako. Thank you all so much for being here. Sounds sick. Thank you. It's good to be here. Thanks for having yeah. us. Yeah, of course. So the band is based in Brooklyn. That sounded nice. <laughs> Are you all from there, or did you come from other places and end up in Brooklyn? Um, only three of us li actually live in Brooklyn. Okay. Um, but. Yeah, none of us are originally from there. I'm from Arkansas. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. I'm from Southern Maryland. Nice. I'm from the northwest from suburbs of Chicago. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Hell yeah. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> I actually live in Columbus, and I'm from Mississippi. Okay. Wow. All over the world yeah. together. Cool. So what's it like making music in Brooklyn versus where you're from? <laughs> <laughs> Were you making music in Arkansas? I, I was. Um, I was doing like this solo acoustic thing. Um, but at least when I was there, the scene that I really knew about was like hardcore and like metal. Yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I can't imagine doing something like this there. I don't yeah. know how well that would be received. <laughs> <laughs> Were you dipping your toes into like metal and hardcore? Were you in any crazy no, <laughs> metal bands? No. Just, yeah, you were. I, I only just like attended those shows. I never played okay. music like that. You were just in the pit. What was, yeah. <laughs> what was that Ina Co song on that tape? What? Never mind. <laughs> oh, the one, I, the one hardcore Ina Co song that... The one... I was obsessed with that song. Tried. Only the longtime fans know about. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Anyone else? Were you like, you know, making music in Maryland? I lived well. I lived in Tennessee for several years before I moved to New York. So that was kind of I like kind of came into my adulthood there, mm -hmm. and um, I was I played in a few bands there too. Um, I played in this grunge metal band that was called Tramp Skirts, but now it's kind of formed into this current band called Bellman the Sleaze. Um, so, uh, yeah, I have like a kind of more edgier, harder background <laughs> as far as like- A dark the, past. My roots, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sick. Cool. Um, so what do you, when you're like coming home to Brooklyn or Columbus, you live in Columbus right now? I do. Okay, so when you're coming home from tour, what? can you find yourselves doing when you get home? Like, what's your go-to? Looking for parking. Oh, I answer for you. I can't. I just <laughs> lock myself in my room and play a video game. Yes. Mars and I are roommates, so I oh, nice. definitely know each other's <laughs> habits. Okay, so you're playing video games. What are you doing? Um, I'm just, like, snuggling up with broccoli. Yeah, that's like, exactly what I was going to say. Um, we, we share um, a dog. Um, a little chihuahua called Broccolini. Oh my God. Um, and actually, Joe found him. Um, Joe, he's a rescue. Like, Joe was just outside one day and rescued him, and then we took him in. So, I don't know, like, touring a lot, I don't really, we don't really get to see him that much. So, I try to, yeah. like, soak that up as much as I can. And, um, yeah, I like to play video games too. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys playing right now? What's your go to? Uh, Right now, I'm playing Fallout. Nice. Uh, the New newest Vegas? one? Oh, okay. No, yeah. New Vegas. On Xbox 360. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. I like the like weirder, like simple kind of challenging game. Like, I like Katamari. Yeah. Um, that's really fun. Um, I kind of I'm pretty old school. I like going to arcades a lot. Um, yeah. And There's playing, a bunch like, here. Which one? There's a bunch here that you Ooh, should go to. Yeah. Please <laughs> tell me. I'm yeah. actually. I really want to make some kind of like log that has like all the arcades every in every city just like a <laughs> yeah a musician's guide to to arcade games That'd be but useful. yeah i like donkey kong country and like Ooh, yeah. mario kart and that kind of stuff mm -hmm. and we're really into emulators you I just mars downloaded, downloaded an emulator yeah, for to play this rpg that like i was on really the road. into yeah. when i was 11. Nice. <laughs> it's, it's what was it called play. shining force okay never heard of it <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> Cute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we like games. Yeah. What about you? Um, I don't. There's a we have a like handheld Yahtzee in the car. That's the only game I play. I have one of I those. Play, you know, yeah, it's pretty fun. I bought one like a few months ago. It is very fun. Congratulations. Thank you. I love Yahtzee. <laughs> yeah. That's Shana? it though. <laughs> Are you playing video games or what are you doing in Columbus? I don't play games. <laughs> there was that cat yeah, game, <laughs> that mobile games. game. Oh, okay. I just hang out with my cats. Oh, okay. Yeah, same. I feel you. 
Cool. Well, you can uh, head into the next song whenever you're ready. Sure enough, thanks. <laughs> you're not sensitive. Yes. 
You're watching Audio Tree Live with Einico. So, as a band, you're all pretty into 90s pro wrestling. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> oh, right. I Seek this out. <laughs> Was it a um, lie? I mean, no, because literally Mars posted like a Stone Cold Steve Austin related thing about doing this today. Yeah. Wow, okay. Right. Raise hell, leave. Hell yeah. Uh, so do you guys ever like practice 90s pro wrestling moves? I guess pro wrestling moves in Not general. Not anymore. No. Um, <laughs> if anyone like comes up behind me, I automatically want to do like, the Stone Cold Stunner to them. Yeah. I don't do it because that oh, would okay. really hurt. But. Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> we actually play a video game that... <laughs> what? <laughs> don't you have a video game? Like a W... Oh. WWF? I used to have this um, on PlayStation 3, <clears throat> this wrestling game, and you can, like, customize... You could just, like, customize a character. Yeah, the best and, part. Yeah, that's my favorite part. <laughs> and And, like... You can also customize the way they enter into the ring. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I would. There's some kind I've, of like gay I made them, factor too that you I can crank do, up or something. Uh, yeah, that's called. you got gold dust and then Mr. Ass. <laughs> can you say that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Talk all about Mr. Ass. <laughs> but you can make them you. like enter the arena that and make them just kind of like strut, really, yeah, like, just, like very really just effeminate. like prancing around and stuff. <laughs> yeah. So that sounds that's really fun. Only, that's the best part of the game. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I would probably agree if I played it. We also really like watching the new um, Stone Cold Steve Austin show. I don't even know if it's new, but it's, it's new to you. It's called like Stone Cold's Ass. Kicker. Skull, <laughs> ass skull Ranch. Sk broken oh. Skull, broken broken skull, skull Ranch or something. Okay. He says ass kick, ass kicker a lot. It sounds we hard. Love that. But yeah, you go. Every, the show is that like they basically get like CrossFit people to like run his course. Oh man. And it's just like a real ass kicker, <laughs> and he's just there like on his little like, whatever that thing Go -kart is. Go or something. ATV, oh just yeah. like yelling at them the whole way. <laughs> wow. It's great. I'd like to see him do it. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, speaking of the 90s, I guess, uh, if you could join any 90s band, what would you choose? Sheena. <laughs> I played the fifth. <laughs> Which one? I played the fifth. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never heard of that one. <laughs> um, That's fine. You don't have to answer I don't know if I would want to join, but I just want to. I wish that I could like. I wish I there to hang out with like Nirvana and Smashing Pumpkins. I would kick Billy Corgan's ass. Yeah, I feel like I'd. Spice Girls. Schedule a fight. I'd like to be like the Melissa Oftermar of like all the bands, where like everybody just wants me in the band to like fill in. Everyone wants a piece. Yeah, everyone wants a piece. Yeah, because. She played with Hole and like yeah, Smashing Pumpkins and I don't know. I yeah. thought that was really yeah. cool that like she was in high demand. Yeah. She got to yeah. play with like a lot of great. That's sick. People. Yeah, Joe. Oh, I don't know. That's a hard question. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I don't think I have an answer for that. That's okay. <laughs> I thought you okay. were gonna say Spice Girls earlier. Oh really? Why? <laughs> I, when you started speaking, I thought you were gonna say that. Spice, Spice Girls. Girls. Yeah. When's the last time she even mentioned Spice Girl? <laughs> Who was your favorite Spice Girl? Sporty. Wow. Scary. I liked Ginger. Yeah, I loved for some Scary. Reason. I like Scary. Ginger yeah. was like super hot, but yeah, I was really into to Scary. I had a really cool Scary Barbie doll. Scary and Sporty. Yeah, those are mm -hmm. two. Yeah. That, yeah, Sporty was awesome. Cool. Yeah. This might also be another hard question, but in honor of Record Store Day. What would you say is your most coveted record that you have? Mm. Hmm. Mine is, uh, mine doesn't matter. <laughs> Hard hitting questions here. Um, the Hickey LP. Oh yeah, you were listening yeah. to that earlier. Yeah. Um, I don't, I, I mean, I really liked Spice Girls growing up. Like, I, list, I still have the cassette from that I had when I was 11. Like, I still have it and still listen to it. Oh, my God. Um, That's sick. Yeah. Okay. Probably that one. 
Nice. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't bought records in a while. I'm like kind of more record. into tapes because I, yeah. I don't get to be at home that much. Um, yeah. No, I so. definitely find myself buying more cassettes when I'm like actu- at yeah. an actual record store. Yeah, yeah. I really like yeah. cassettes. You find more, you know, deep cuts there. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and there's a lot of like rare things that bands will put out that just kind of like they'll do like a short run and then that's yeah. it. And I don't know, it's kind of special. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Cool. Well, you guys can uh, roll into the last song when you're sure. ready. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks everyone in the studio and the sound engineers, the camera and lighting crew, and to the viewers for watching. You can support the band by downloading the session when it comes out in a couple weeks, or by grabbing their brand new record, Silver Haze, out now on Don Giovanni. They're also embarking on a pretty huge U.S. tour that uh, you can catch them tonight at Beat Kitchen and tomorrow in Milwaukee and so many more dates. So check that out. And uh, from everyone here at Audio Tree, thanks for tuning in. Bye. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs>